Communist Party leaders from France express support for Palestinians, call for international intervention. The Popular Committee for Services, Events, and Institutions of Ada Refugee Camp in Bethlehem welcomed a high-ranking French delegation, including the leader of the French Communist Party and members of the French Parliament, along with representatives of the municipality of Grenay and the French Twinning Association with Palestinian camps. At the start of the visit, the head of the Popular Committee greeted the delegation at the return gate and briefed them on the latest political developments. He highlighted the ongoing brutal aggression against the Palestinian people in Gaza, Israel's Jena censorship war, the siege, and the attacks on the residents of the West Bank, including Ada Camp. Al-Azza also addressed Israeli provocations in the camp, extending beyond gunfire and gas to interfere in the details of daily life, hindering projects that could alleviate the burdens on the residents. He emphasized the importance of the visit for the French delegation to understand the reality of Palestinian refugee camps, especially amid the relentless assault on UNRWA's services. He urged the delegation to press French officials to reconsider their decision to halt funding for UNRWA as Israel seeks to end the agency's services for political reasons. The French delegation expressed solidarity with the Palestinians, promising to convey the challenges facing them to French officials and advocate for Palestinian rights on the international stage. The visit aimed to deepen the understanding of the Palestinian cause and mobilize support for a just resolution to the ongoing conflict. The head of the French Communist Party affirmed their historical ties with Palestine as the driving force behind their visit to Ada Camp. He declared the party's opposition to certain French government policies and their efforts to pressure the government to reconsider funding UNRWA. Despite the government's claim of awaiting the results of an investigation into Israeli accusations against UNRWA, the delegation reiterated its commitment to pressuring the government for a policy reversal. The head of the French Communist Party pledged to convey the observations from Ada Camp to the French president during their meeting the following Thursday. He emphasized Israel's attempts to erase the Palestinian presence and called on the president to play a role in stopping Israeli actions. Green Party Mayor Renault, representing the municipality twinned with Ada Camp and other Palestinian camps, described the delegation's first visit led by the French Communist Party leader and including party members, mayor, and the twinning committee chairwoman. He highlighted the importance of strengthening and solidifying relations between the two sides under challenging circumstances. Renault noted that some mayors and members of the French Communist Party visit Palestine, the West Bank, and Palestinian refugee camps for the first time to gain insight into the reality of life. He emphasized that the Communist Party leader came to listen and witness how the Palestinian people live, intending to convey what he observed to French society and officials. The leader is scheduled to meet with the French president to discuss the situation in Ukraine, but they will also address what they witnessed in Palestine. At the end of the tour, the Popular Committee and the Ada Camp representatives presented the French delegation with commemorative gifts featuring a map of Palestine, expressing appreciation for their supportive stances and solidarity with Palestinian national rights. In return, the French delegation presented a gift representing an Armenian worker and resistance fighter during the Adolf H. occupation of France symbolizing the French Communist Party's support for the Palestinian people's struggle. The delegation thanked Ada Camp for the warm welcome and organization of the visit, leaving a lasting impression on the importance of working for justice for Palestinians.